So an Arrhenius acid is basically just the first model that you'll get taught in junior science and when you get to senior science uh, you may get to the Bronsted Lowry or the Lewis more advanced models. Uh, but basically all you need to know for the moment is an acid is anything that gives off H pluses. Now how do you know if it gives off H pluses? How do you know that a HCl goes to a H plus and a Cl minus? Um, the best, pro probably the best clue is it's an ionic compound. Uh, most of it's going to end up being on memori memorization familiar familiarity. Um, so sulfuric acid and uh, phosphoric acid, they have polyatomic ions, uh, which are considered as anions for ionic compounds. Uh, and so that's probably the best clue that you can have. Uh, besides that, um, you need to realize that a H plus ion, hydrogen ion is actually just a single proton. It doesn't have any neutrons or electrons. Uh, so it's it's quite reactive. And if there is water floating around that has a negative there and a positive there, of course, there's going to be quite a strong attraction uh, to there. And so uh, hydrogen ions are often referred to as hydronium ions because they link up with the water. Okay, so uh, basically the definition of an acid, uh, the very first model you're going to learn uh, is actually by this guy called Arrhenius, um, which we need to differentiate for the future. So uh, just to cover the properties of the acids as well, some of these you'll know already. Uh, so I've just talked about the hydronium ion. Uh, it tastes sour, that's not actually quite useful except for um, with your foods, it's, it's kind of interesting to know. With fruits, fruits are usually um, acids. Um, they corrode metals. Uh, these are basically the reactions that we're going to cover a little bit later. Um, so that's just a summary. Uh, the most important thing to know is the pH is less than 7 and you may or you probably won't need to know these because they'll be in your data books, data booklets.